Good to go whenever. Alright, ready? Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Kelly Rufana, and today we're going to be taking a little dip into ocean discoveries. Even though our Earth's surface is covered by more than 70% of oceans, only 5% has actually been explored, leaving room for curiosity and plenty of more discoveries. When I was younger, I wanted to be just like Indiana Jones and make incredible discoveries all over and live an adventurous life. But unfortunately, there isn't much left to be discovered above sea level, which leaves us the ocean, which I'm terrified of and everything that's in it. So I'm left with exploring other people's discoveries. The ocean is still a mystery and it holds secrets from us that we may never reveal, but somewhere in one of the largest ocean trenches, we just so happened to come across one of the deepest living sea creatures known to man, and it wasn't a megalodon or a leviathan. New discoveries and research is so important for humans to understand and know more about our world and where we came from. We can do this through ocean exploration and looking into places like the Atacama Trench and understanding creatures that live in it. Ocean exploration, exploration has been the top place for new species to be identified. In 2019, tw over 29 species of new ocean life was discovered. On this graph here, you can see over a span of 200 years how our knowledge on ocean life has just increased. According to the NOA, about 35% of the ocean has been mapped with modern methods. This leaves us with so much left of our Earth unmapped. One place we do know about and are learning more about is the Peru Chile Trench, also known as the Atacama Trench. The Atacama Trench, a submarine trench in the Eastern Pacific Ocean, about 100 miles off the coast of Peru and Chile. Its depth is about 8,065 miles below sea level and is about 3,666 miles long with a width of 40 miles. And somewhere on that ocean floor, we find our Atacama snailfish. The Atacama snailfish is definitely one of the more unique critters of the ocean. Its scale is slightly translucent and it's being held together by the pressure making it very difficult to bring above the water to study. If it was to be brought to the air, its jelly-like body would completely collapse and melt away pretty much. <laughs> there were three types of these snailfish discovered who were quick named pink, blue, and purple due to their slight color differences and slightly different features. According to Go South, who posted an article all about the discoveries, the snailfish is the most thriving species that lives deep in the ocean, and some trenches support not only a single species, but multiple species with body plans that hint at different lifestyles within the trench. If you'd like to play with the view.
There's still so much more to know about these little creatures, but for now, until we have even more advanced technology, it'd be very hard to bring them above the sea without killing them. <laughs> Each discovery made, big or small, it's just another way to fill in the gaps of a bigger picture. Through sea exploration, more research at the Atacama Trench, and the unique creatures living in the trench, we may just be able to fill those gaps with such discoveries and research. Our ocean will continue to hold its mysteries and continue surprising us. With each discovery made comes with more questions and the need to know more. The Atacama snailfish, well, that's just a small piece in a big puzzle. Who knows, maybe we will find a megalodon. Thank you. That was really good.